So my favorite line on, that I, I discovered when doing research for my first book, it was the headline of the communist Yiddish newspaper in the Soviet Union called Der Remes. And the headline read, um, Yiddish is oich par nosa far Yiddish kinder, which translates as Jewish kids can earn a living from Yiddish too. So, I, I mean, I, I jest, but the most frequently asked question I'm asked as a chair of Jewish studies and a professor is what's my kid going to do with this? X, with whatever X is, because X is invariably something useless. History, Jewish studies, Russian, it's useless. Um, so I said, well, I am a professor of Jewish history and I've done okay for myself. Uh, I joke because, you know, how many of us, there's what, 30 of us, 40 of us around the country. It's not like everyone who comes to the Yiddish summer program is going to go on to be a Yiddish professor. Um, but the point is, one could be, and actually a lot of the students who've come through this program have ended up becoming professors of Yiddish or scholars or in, in various educational formats. But more to the point, I actually think that this summer intensive learning experience is incredibly valuable for basic critical thinking, learning skills, um, appreciation for historical memory, which I think a lot of people, a lot of the students come out of this program having a much deeper appreciation for their own pasts and for the historical past in general. I've actually seen students have better relationships with their families after the Yiddish summer program because they start to care more. I mean, presumably they cared to begin with, otherwise, otherwise they wouldn't be here. But um, there's actually a, de a deepening for many of the students of a connection to family, Jewish and not, by the way, um, because Yiddish is never just Yiddish. Yiddish is never just studying a language. It's always that and something more. So I think the students come out of here with um, a deeper sort of emotional appreciation for those kinds of things, which I think is incredibly valuable. And, you know, they've worked, they've gotten training in things like, I don't know, videography and oral history and um, archival research, publications, and we have had students do blogging. So they're actually, the students here are actually gaining really great skills that they can go take with them to do other projects. If, if this, for most of the students, this is not the end of their Yiddish journey, if I'm going to use that slightly schmaltzy phrase. Um, it's for most of them it's the beginning, but even if it is really the end of some a student's uh, Yiddish studies, they've learned a lot of valuable skills out of the experience here.